Hello, welcome back to my channel. I decided um, the baby's still sleeping, so I'm gonna go through my bron bronzers. I don't know if I'm gonna declutter any because it's probably my smallest amount of like one category. I'm picky about bronzers, but I was going through my lip glosses and I decided um, this is brand new. I used it once to try it. This is the lip injection. This was part of their holiday collection in Christmas cocoa. It smells fabulous but I, it burns and I'm not a fan of that. And then I have this milk one that I was sent. It's the electric glossy lip plumper. Um, again, I don't like the burn and this is brand new. So these two, I'm gonna try and pass along. Um, Cause some people do like, like the tingling cinnamon burn. I, I'm not a fan of it, but um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna jump into the bronzer. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. Make sure you subscribe and yeah, we're gonna jump into the Okay, so I pulled out the drawer. I have a couple of cream contours. Um, these are not all the ones that I own. These are the ones that I use um, the most regularly. So there's only a few in here. I'm not a big cream product user. Most of my cream products are in a separate basket like above me because I just don't use them but I may try and get out my other like cream contours before we start okay I do have room in this drawer so I have this cream contour palette from Zueva I've never used it I've been inclined like to try it I don't know how this formula is like that seems fine so I think I'm gonna put this stuff in this drawer so I'll keep that um, I'm pulling out of this basket. This is all of my cream products, like cream blush, highlighters. I think I'm going to declutter this shade because it's just not quite right from the LA Girl. This is in suede, so I think I'm going to declutter that. And then I have this liquid bronzer from Benefit. I like the contour stick. I wish I could get a full size. They've discontinued it. Um, this just is, it's a liquid bronzer. I don't know. I'm kind of, I never use this. So it's warm. It's very, very warm. Um, not a super fan. I think I'm just going to, I never use it. So I probably just, I'm going to need a new towel. It's one of those things where I like want to like, I like cream contour. Not a huge fan of cream bronzers. I have this stick from Morphe. I think I'll keep this. This doesn't, this shade is fine. And I don't necessarily mind that. This, I got to kind of replace my Benefit one, but I also have this ABH one that's a really good contour. So I'll keep that in the palette. I think the rest of these are like blush and highlighters. Okay, so we'll put that back up and we'll go Oh, I left out my profusion blush. Uh, my blush and highlight drawers are too full. So, okay, and I'll show you again. We'll do a recap at the end. So I'm gonna keep those two things and I'll put them in this drawer when I'm done. So I have this other LA Girl one. This one is in Toffee. It's a much better shade match for me. I'm gonna switch things. We'll put the keep stuff in the declutter. Okay, and then I have this. ABH, it's a foundation stick, but it is in the shade Mink. And it is, for me, like super cool toned, perfect contour. It's very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. So I have to be careful, because the first time I used it, it got a little bit muddy, because I went in a little too heavy. And this, if you can still get it, I've been looking on Poshmark for a full size, and I cannot find one. I love this. Like it's a little bit warmer, so this would be considered more of a bronzer, but it's just a better shade than the liquid one, and I'm just sad that they don't have that, and I have not been able to find a full size on Poshmark. They had some, and I didn't buy them, and then I can't find them anymore. The other cream contour that I really like is from Fenty. Mine's a little bit gross, but I have Amber. They do sell this in a stick form, but my Sephora was out. But you can see, like, there's a pretty big dip. I do like this, um, the ABH one, 
and this are probably my favorite for actual contour. The difference between a contour and a bronzer is a true contour is going to be a little more cool toned. A bronzer is obviously going to be warmer. So just for reference. Um, but you can use bronzers as contour and so forth. This is old, but it still works. This has the cocoa, like the chocolate soleil, and then there's like an angel wings. This was part of one of their holiday sets. So I use this all the time. I have this elf one. This is supposed to be a dupe for the NARS like Laguna and Orgasm blush. I keep it in here because I mainly bought it for the bronzer side, but I got this for like $2 at Marshall's. We've got the Milani Baked Bronzer in Dulce. is new because I've been trying to get more drugstore. This, that um, lip plumper that I showed you, this was part of this set. This is their cocoa, hot cocoa um, matte bronzer. It's super fair. Um, it smells a little bit different. Like the chocolate smells a little bit different than the chocolate. So late. like it's a super light one. So if you're like... I'm fair to light. If you're in the medium spectrum, you're probably not gonna be able to use that. It's super light. I have the Unicorn Tears one. I like to go in with like a matte contour and a more shimmery bronzer. That's how I like to do my bronzer situation. So that's why most of these bronzers you're gonna see are shimmery because I have this one from Becca that I love in Sunset Wave. So if you can get this on Poshmark, it's really good. The Too Faced chocolate gold this one's got a little bit of shimmer in it so again I like to use it in conjunction with the milk chocolate one out of the snowman thing and then I have the from the pineapple they're tutti fruity whatever it's got like a pina colada smell and it's more of a like a satin bronzer than a true like shimmery but this highlighter is also decent on me so the these ones in front are all my like favorite ones. I guess I could be intelligent and put all the Too Faced stuff relatively together. But yeah, that's why most of my bronzers are shimmery. Very rarely will you see me with a matte bronzer just because I prefer to use like a true contour. Another drugstore one, this is the Makeup Revolution in Take Vacation. I think it's the medium shade. I like a little bit heavy of a bronzer. This is from Complex Culture. This is a little bit warmer of a bronzer, but I like it for like autumn time. And then this contour is nice. And then there's some highlights in there. The Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow, again, is a nice highlighter, pretty contour. Um, this is a good drugstore palette. I have this iconic London one, and this is a matte bronzer, but you will not see many matte bronzers. But again, if I do, I like them. Um, like in this shade because I can I feel like I can get away with them as a, a contour and then go in with a shimmery bronzer on top I have this LYS one um, to blend them out I got this just because I don't have a ton of drugstore this is I used to have this I hit pan on mine years ago this is in I think it's Dolce yeah Dolce de Leche so it's got the banana powder and contour really really nice and cheap um, another good one from BH the Belgian waffle um, I am able to use the whole palette so again like these are a little more of a satin and then the highlighters are nice but I keep it in this drawer because I mainly got it for the contour shades and then you have like a like a setting powder here um this one I think is just okay. Like this is one I will probably declutter at some point. This is from Kaleidos. I don't use this a ton. Again, you got a matte bronzer, a contour shade, and a setting powder. I like this shade. I don't find I, that I reach for this a ton just again because of the, my style, but it was expensive and I'm trying to get a little more use out of it. I have this one from LMR Cosmetics. I haven't used it. I don't think... But there's two, there's like a deepener, a bronzer, and like a brightening powder. So I need to try that. I do have 
the Coco Contour Kit from Too Faced. The only shade that I'm really not able to use in here is this orange one, but I might be able to get away with like as a blush or something. I'm trying to figure out how to use like the whole palette because I, I don't like keeping palettes if I can't use the whole thing. I have the Park Avenue Princess. Again, I can use the whole palette and I like. There's like matte powders. These two are shimmery. And then you've got like the setting, like banana and like setting powder. So I have the KVD Shade and Light Contour Palette. Mine is dusty as all get out. But again, I can use the whole palette. And then you've got some nice setting shades. And then the last one is from Makeup Revolution. Again, this is a good drugstore alternative to the Shade and Light Palette. This highlighter is really nice. Again, you got some setting powders and then some different contour shades. Okay, I figured there probably wasn't going to be a lot to get rid of just because I keep this pretty pared down. Like I said, I'm picky about bronzers and what I like. I've been trying to like broaden my horizons a little bit, but like this is probably pretty warm for me, but I do like that. That's a newer one. And then I'm going to put the Morphe stick and my other one that I don't reach for as often over there. These can all probably go in the back there. But yeah, let's... Oh, and then I have that cream contour palette. It's like playing Tetris in here, trying to get things to fit correctly. Okay. Okay. And I did go through my blush drawer quickly and I was able to pull out two things. I, I'll just show them to you rather than film that whole like process. So I am finally going to let this go. So the last, the only piece that I still have is that piece that you saw with the chocolate soleil bronzer and the highlighter. This is the blush section and I like all of these shades but I haven't been reaching for this and I have these shades in other palettes so I think I can finally pass this on and then I've been holding on to this ABH blush trio because it's ABH but I've never used it I got it at TJ Maxx um so I think it's finally I've had it for a couple of years never reached for it so I'm gonna get rid of that and this and then the liquid bronzer and this one. So yeah, I was able to get a few pieces <clears throat> out of my drawer. I probably need to do the highlighter drawer. The highlighter drawer is that and eyeshadow, <clears throat> excuse me, are the hardest things for me to declutter. But yeah, so I was able to get rid of a few things.